Hello everybody, Josh Roberts here from the Loyalist College recruitment team and today I've got the man himself, Hardik Patel. He's coming with us live today to talk to you guys a little bit about what it's like to be an international student in Belleville. Hardik, how you doing man? I'm good, how are you Josh? I'm good, thank you so much for joining us and tell us a little bit about yourself. First of all Josh, thank you so much for giving this opportunity with me. I would uh, like to talk with all the students right now so basically, my name is Hardik Patel, and uh, I'm recently graduated from Lawless College with a computer networking program. Uh, I'm from Barodra. Uh, it is basically located in Gujarat, India. So you can say basically I'm an international student. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So you traveled quite a long way to get to Belleville. And just before we started talking, uh, Hardik and I were saying about how much we actually love Belleville. Neither of us are from here, him being from. India and me being from Newfoundland, uh, he's a little bit further away from home than I am, but we both grew to love it here in our time here. So um, why don't you tell us uh, sort of about like what kind of activities you were involved in on campus and, and that sort of stuff. I do a couple of activities in campus right now. Uh, and uh, from last two years, uh, I used to do uh, lots of activity for students, for faculty members and for the Lawless College. So uh, I was a vice president of student council. It, uh, it comes with lots of activities. It's, uh, you can say the fun activities for students, the cultural activities, the number of events which I organized for students. And uh, I was also working as an RA at residence, college residence. And I was dealing with number of students, international students, uh, domestic students, uh, I was taking their views about Lawless College, how Lawless College loves them, especially how they love Lawless College, and a uh, couple of activities which uh, uh, refresh their minds throughout the Lawless College media. Yeah, you were you were a busy guy at Lawless. You never had much uh, much free time, but the free time you did, you had put to good use there. You've been uh, quite the staple in our community. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about, I know you, you've mentioned you're still, you're still local right now, but what are some of your plans for the future? Uh, for the future, uh, during my two years, I, were, I was planning to do something for Lawless. I was planning to work with Lawless in the future as well as, so my current goal is also one, uh, you can say I want to work for Lawless and uh, but uh, currently, if I'm not getting any opportunity, uh, I would like to start again my career into IT field. Or you can say social networking, or you can say social work. As I'm also doing right now, currently, uh, indirectly with federal government, uh, uh, as a volunteer, I'm helping uh, COVID-19 patients throughout call. And I'm kind of I'm helping federal government throughout the situations right now. Jeez, it never stops with you. Hey, you're always looking to help out and do the next thing, man. That's in yeah, yeah. I was, I was always looking to help people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, one of the most uh, friendly faces on campus. That's for sure. Uh, so, <laughs> you too, Harvey, when did you, uh, when did you first hear about Loyalist, and what were some of like your determining factors in choosing Loyalist College? Uh, to be frank, uh, I was not aware about Loyalist College when I was in India. But uh, I applied uh, in different colleges throughout my agent and uh, uh, my agent uh, applied in different colleges, which was in uh, Ontario, uh, throughout the Ontario, Vancouver and different states of uh, Canada. Uh, I got selected in almost uh, three or four colleges in Toronto and Vancouver and different states. But uh, I was searching for a different colleges like uh, and I found a uh, that uh, Lawlist has that biggest campus throughout the all uh, entire colleges. No doubt other campus, uh, other colleges has the same. But uh, at that time, I was looking for some peaceful place, you know, where I can go, I can explore myself, I can identify and I can upgrade my skills. So that's the reason I choose the Lawlist College. Yeah, definitely. We've got a, a beautiful scenic campus with lots of space and it's, it's amazing the campus which i love the most yeah absolutely i was very happy when i came down to belleville and i saw all the outdoor scenery i got to work with while i was here so it was a, that was pretty good for me too 
That's awesome. Uh, what were you most afraid of before you came to Loyalist College? Um, before I come to Loyalist College, um, I used to work with Infosys, which is an uh, IT company. I used to work with them for um, two years, and it's an MNC. So it has also big campus and everything over there. So, and I was also uh, far from my hometown, my parents, for an entire three years. So it's not that hard for me, but to change the city and to change the country is totally a different thing. So I was also facing a couple of issues over there, a couple of problems before coming to Canada. But uh, as I said, I was far away from, from my family. So it was not that hard for me, but uh, as uh, I don't have any relatives or friends over here in Canada when I was there in India. So I was also faced a couple of issues regarding stay food and everything because uh, i used to do i used to work continuously on my diet my fitness and everything but the the main source is food and you know how we can deal with it and we are changing the country totally country because we'll get totally new tradition new food and everything so yeah a couple of factors were there at that time when i was facing issue to uh, relocate it to different country but I can say that will treat me very well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it definitely would be a, a big deal to change, you know, like you said, from city to city is one thing, but from country to country, it's a completely yeah, different story. Totally different thing, yeah. Story. Yeah, but you, uh, you came in and you fit in very well. And despite you having some problems at the start, I've seen you in the gym and you still definitely keep up with that fitness. So. Oh yeah, I try. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, man. So. You know, studying abroad is obviously never easy as we just sort of touched on. So uh, how easy have you found it to sort of integrate into the Loyalist and the Belleville community? Um, exploring new countries, uh, seeing new people, seeing new things. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's not that easy. Making friends is not also that easy. But taking that friends to the last long is very difficult, you know. Uh, sometimes you'll get a good roommate. Sometimes you'll get very worst roommate. And I have that both situation in my life. I've got some very good roommates over here. And I've got also worst roommates over here. So the situation, uh, th this is the time when you have to take decisions. You are... Uh, you, you want to take that friendship, you want to take their friends, that things, that those memories to the last long, or just you want to uh, spend your time with the washroom. But uh, um, uh, I can say totally, this is kind of package. If I moved, uh, when I moved to the lawless campus, I've got tremendous, uh, the faculty members, the staffs were very friendly. They just tried to help me out to get everything settled over here. So I can say I'm blessed with the very good environment at Lawless College. Yeah, absolutely. It's like we just touched on, right? It's difficult to sort of come to a new place and, and sort of integrate in that way. But yeah, said you, it didn't take you long to, to fit in and make a name for yourself at the college. So you've done very good with that and, and working through your situations as well. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned roommates. So I know that finding a place to stay for, for even for me has been a bit challenging, but for you guys coming across from a different country, it can be very difficult. Yeah, it is. Can you sort of speak on your experience in finding housing. Uh, were you in residence? Did you enjoy that or were you off campus? Loyalist residence was also neat and clean. It's totally secure. The campus is very big and at least we can get very fresh air rather than any metro cities. So yeah, the Loyalist residence is also very good and it's located, like, located just two minutes far away from our classes, from our, from our main campus. So it's, uh, you can say the positive time because in Canada, the time is money, you know? So yeah. at least you can save a lot of time if you are staying off campus, but the on campus is, I can suggest all students to stay on campus only. Hardik, you've, you've touched on a lot of really awesome stuff, but what were some of your best memories at Loyalist? Uh, I'm having a lot of memories with Loyalist. If I'll pick a few of them, it will take so many hours to describe that. But I won't take that much of time, and I'll, I'll take maybe one or two memories uh, from all of them. 
so uh, one of my latest good memory i can say that uh, before a few days i was just hanging out with my friends at home and uh, i was just got call from a non number uh, i usually don't pick that a non numbers because i just usually see that name from true caller so i can see uh, who is calling me so i can directly pick the call and i can just talk to them so uh, at that time the number was a private so i couldn't see who are the person who is calling me at that time i just picked up the call and i was like hello so she was like hello i'm ann mary i was like uh, who she was like ann mary from law list i was like uh, okay uh, are you just kidding me i was like because i was not expecting a call from president ma'am and on my personal number so she was like yeah this is president ma'am i was like really i was totally blank for a minute because <laughs> i couldn't expect that call even no one can expect that call from president ma'am on your personal mobile number right and she was like yeah would you mind if you will take this valedictorian award of 2020 i was like whoa i was just jumped out of my house <laughs> it was my my uh uh best memory i can say ever i was just it was very happiest moment of my entire two years you know because if you if you'll just award it from dust this crowd i know this is this is very biggest thing for me especially i'm not sure about other student but this is really mean a lot for me yeah yeah man absolutely that's such an honor and and congratulations i was actually informed you were going to be a valedictorian last week by ann marie and she's very excited for that so That's thank you that, so much. Thank the, you. The number was private, so you didn't. Yeah. Have, oh yeah, that's good though. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, Hardik. That's quite an incredible memory to have, and and just goes to show that when you put in the hard work and you and you're dedicated, like a lot of great things can happen. Thank you so much, Josh. Thank you. Of course, man. And and one last uh, big one here for you is what sure. advice would you give to an international student who is considering applying to Loyola's College? Uh if you are planning to apply for other colleges please don't apply i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> so uh if you are looking for a whole package if i can say if you are looking for a good money good atmosphere your good health uh your good lifestyle or you can say uh, uh a very impressive environment around over here and if you are fond of uh, new places to explore which cost Zero dollar, you must have to visit Belleville, and especially just take an ad, uh, just take an admission in Lawless College. You'll get this whole entire package in what? Just pay your tuition fees. You'll get everything surrounding over here. It's it's fun. Uh, if you are not sure about that, still just go to the Lawless College Instagram page. They have couple of uh, uh, the attractive spots, attractive. information throughout the lawless college and of the belville town so lawless college i can suggest uh, uh if you're looking for this whole package just go to the lawless college because uh, i was always fond of different different things to explore new things and uh not i was not looking for so boring life that why that's why i just took an admission of lawless college and i just, it, it it feels like it's it's worth it it fulfill my all dreams and my biggest achievements which i have got throughout my entire life is from the lawless college hardik thanks so much for joining us everybody else if you'd like to you know tune into some more of our sessions keep an eye out this week and we'll see you soon thank you josh